So hi guys, this is Varsha. And you are doing must main. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions from biology from the chapter photosynthesis. So do watch this video till the end. And all these questions are important for your ICSE 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions carefully. These are the type of questions which are mostly repeated in your board examinations. So let us begin. So the first question is name the following type of question. The question is the process of conversion of ADP that is adenosine diphosphate into ATP that is adenosine triphosphate during photosynthesis. So what is the process called? So it is known as photophosphorylation. You must have studied it is called photophosphorylation. The process of conversion of ADP into ATP it is known as photophosphorylation. Now the next question it is again name the following type of question. the part of the chloroplast where the light reaction of photosynthesis takes place so the you must be knowing that the light reaction it takes place in the grana of the chloroplast light reaction takes place in the grana and if the question is asked about the dark reaction then you have to write stroma so for dark reaction it is stroma dark reaction occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast and light reaction it occurs in the grana after that the next question is again name the following type of question the splitting the process of splitting of water in light reaction so the process of splitting of water in light reaction it is known as photolysis it is known as photolysis the process of splitting of water well now moving on to the next question that is question number 4 you have to give the full forms of the following so the first one is nadp so you must be knowing it is nicotinamide nicotinamide adenine nicotinamide adenine it is adenine a t e n i n e dinucleotide dinucleotide phosphate of nadp nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate now the next full form that you have to write is of rubisco so this is also important so the full form of rubisco is ribulose ribulose bisphosphate ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase so this is the full form of rubisco well now moving on to question number 5 which is again very important that this is repeated most of the time from this chapter that is photosynthesis you have to write the overall chemical equation for the process of photosynthesis balanced chemical equation so write a balanced chemical equation to represent the presence of photosynthesis so it it can be asked directly or it is also asked in some of the diagram based question from this chapter that is photosynthesis so please you uh, go through all these questions and this one is very important So the overall chemical equation for the process of photosynthesis it is 6CO2 6CO2 plus 12H2O in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it is going to give C6H12O6 plus 6H2O plus 6O2 plus 6 co2 sorry so this is the overall chemical equation of the process of photosynthesis that is 6 co2 plus 12 h2o sunlight and chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it gives c6 h12o6 plus 6 h2o plus 6 co2 so this is the overall chemical equation and you must be knowing that oxygen it is released as a by product of photosynthesis So now the next question that is question number 6 is define photosynthesis. So I'm not writing it here it is very easy all of you must be knowing it. So photosynthesis it is defined as a biochemical process by which green plants containing chlorophyll they manufacture their own food using carbon dioxide and water as raw materials in the presence of sunlight. So you can just note it down and you must be knowing the answer. Now moving on to question number 7. The question is why water rarely serves as a limiting factor in the process of photosynthesis. So you must be knowing this is there in your book water it rarely serves as a limiting factor in the process of photosynthesis because because less than 1% less than 1% of the total of the total water absorbed water absorbed by a plant is used in photosynthesis is used in photosynthesis 
so water it serves as a limiting factor in the process of photosynthesis because less than 1% of the total water absorbed by a plant it is used in the process of photosynthesis now the next question which is very easy and i have already said the answer previously before only when we were discussing the overall chemical equation of photosynthesis so name the by product of photosynthesis so you must be knowing the by product of photosynthesis it is oxygen now now the next and the last question which is again important you have to name two factors that affect photosynthesis so there are many factors but you have to write two so any two factors that affect photosynthesis first is carbon dioxide concentration so co2 concentration the next factor that affects photosynthesis it is temperature or you can also write light intensity so this is the third factor but you have to write any two light intensity so friends these are some of the important questions which are mostly repeated from this chapter that is the process of photosynthesis and besides this you also have to go through some of the diagram based questions some of the experiments and all which is asked most of the time the diagram based questions so you have to go through that that is important so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and besides this if you have any doubts or queries regarding any of the answers so you can write to us in the comment section thank you